I don't think the lock washer did as much as time and dirt. All right, here we're out. Um, I can see this one's been digging into the paint there. And it even fits up with the head of the screw. That beats the new one with their lock washer silliness. Okay, so, oh, okay. I was convinced that this thing was more solid now. This is uh, turning into cardboard, compressed wood chips. I, uh, oh, and I dumped this right out. This is, uh, ugh. So I think it's the drive, this is the drive bushing for the saw, man. I'm gonna do some cleaning on this, but it, it feels like it's grooved. I don't know how well you can see that what's what's metal and what's dirt is what I want to know and A, it's a problem that there's so much dirt. Okay, just a quick update. I'll finish cleaning this piece later. Um, with enough Scotch-Brite solvents and elbow grease, the whatever this was is coming off. I mean, the, the ribbing or rubbing and, and cutting into circular grooves on the bearing it actually looks worse than it feels. However, if you had told me this stuff was some kind of ceramic diamond paste that had been cooked in an oven, uh, I would believe you, and that's probably not too far off. I bet it was uh, grease or something, captured some wood chips, captured whatever, well, most likely wood from the fact that it's a circular saw and all the other crap that's in it. But whatever that was, got in the grease and just cooked into, it's like a brick. It's, all, it's almost, you know, it's easier to scrape it off in little chips than it is to clean it off with a solvent. Um, we're starting to get, get some nice uh, tooling marks or, or battle damage possibly um, to see how this thing's machined. Yeah, there won't be much black oxide left when I finish scrubbing this off. Um, but I'm going to set it aside. Uh, and see what else we can find. So, so not too bad. I'll clean it up and put it back together. It should be fine. I paid more attention um, in school. Uh, whatever this rubber stopper is is totally gone on this side. However, it's round. So, let's take it off and I'll uh, put it back on straight the way I want it to face. So I've only lost about a quarter of it. So it all me last me another. Uh, if we ever figure out how old this thing is, a hundred years. This piece of rubber, anyway. I'm sure the rest of the saw will be gone. Okay, that's that's not happening right now. Give it a give it a minute to think about its poor life choices. I'll just go ahead and uh, attack everything else. Oh, hey, that looks familiar behind all the dirt here. Uh, Forgive the uh, flayed tree carcass. You know, it's like it's like pork rinds, but for trees. So this looks like what we saw on the new saw, uh, except for this hemorrhaging glob, which is either sealant or all of the grease has come out of the saw and hardened. Uh, that looks like. Uh, cover for our our, uh, our diaphragm, our bellows, to uh, to keep the grease in. They use a piece of rubber, most likely. We'll get into there and see if this is like the new saw. Piece of rubber, and it's got a hole in it to relieve air pressure on this side. And so when the saw heats up, grease melts, whatever else happens, that rubber gets pushed in, presses air out the hole. When the grease cools off, the air inside the saw shrinks, the rubber expands